RPE and I.O. kits can be used with WPI's Nanofill and a UMP3 the way I've got it set up here. Retinal pigment epithelial interocular kits are specially designed for hands-free and oil-free submicroliter injection. They originally developed for retinal pigment epithelial and interocular injection, and they can be used for other applications. The injection volume is controlled by the UMP3 program, and that is activated by a foot switch. This lets you use hands-free to place the needle into the injection site. These kits need to be used with Nanofill syringe, which is this right here, and the Ultra Micro Pump 3, which is this pump syringe pump here, in order to achieve repetitive and oil-free injections in the submicroliter range. The RPE kit has blunt needles, and the IO kit has the tri-surface beveled needles. So today we're going to talk about how to set this up. This is Silflex and it is a low dead volume tubing made of fused silica with an outside diameter of 460 microns and it's 35 centimeters long. The dead volume of the tubing section is about 3 microliters. The low dead volume, consistent inside diameter, and flexibility are essential for the system. Handle this tubing very gently. Sharp bends can crack the glass and damage the tubing permanently. Do not bend it with a radius less than 30 millimeters or against any sharp corners. This holder connects the Silflex tubing with the injection needle. It has the same coupling mechanism that's used in the Nanofill syringe. The inside diameter of the barrel and the gaskets are identical to the one in the syringe. So you install both the needle and the tubing by loosening the screw and inserting the tubing and tightening the nut, just finger tight. Silflex tubing is very soft, and sometimes it's difficult to fish it through the gasket during the installation. So to solve this, I unscrewed the red cap off the back and took the gasket out of it. So then I want to assemble this and put the gasket on and then I'll screw them in together. And you can see it right down inside there as it comes through. I'm going to push it a little farther in and then I'll tighten this red nut just finger tight so it won't pull out. Now on the other end I loosen up this nut and I'm going to install the needle. Loosen that nut and I'm going to install the needle right here. And you can see the needle inside there. They should almost touch. The needle and the Silflex should be very close to each other inside the holder barrel, but not touching, because the tubing will move forward as the screw is tightened. A gap between the needle and the tubing is essential to avoid crushing the tubing. The gap can be as large as one millimeter, while only increasing the dead volume by 0.17 microliters. Then we're gonna use the same method to install the other end of the Silflex in the syringe. So we'll loosen that up and put this in here. Now you want it to go right to the zero mark in here, but not necessarily beyond because if you push it beyond the zero mark and you depress the plunger, then you can't get it all the way down to zero. Then you have your RPE or your IO kit set up. If you have any questions, just give us a call.